turns out that TensorFlow doesn't have numerically stable summation methods. I think what I was observing was just a side effect of uh, how Eigen, the particular backend I was using for TensorFlow, implements uh, vectorized summation. And here we can see the, the ticket, which I eventually did find. Uh, <laughs> It basically says exactly that. It doesn't use numerically stable summation methods. And it references the two summation methods that uh, would probably be a good idea. Kahan uh, summation was uh, what I was trying to do for my example of how to do it correctly. Uh, this is a better implementation than uh, what I did. There's some critical details, as I understand, between just tracking the residual and uh, what Kahan summation does that uh, improves uh, the accuracy of uh, Kahan summation versus what I was doing. I suspect though that uh, when TensorFlow does the vectorized summation it's ending up gaining some accuracy because it's almost like pairwise summation. It doesn't go down to, it doesn't divide to the same level as pairwise summation but it does end up dividing the summation into a bunch of blocks and then doing those summations concurrently uh, and uh, reducing them down into a single sum. And I think that gains back some of the accuracy that just a summation literally going through every single element uh, would not have. But it's not pairwise summation, it just happens to be a nice side effect of it. I did end up digging into how TensorFlow works because uh, I wanted to understand that aspect. I'm pretty sure I traced some, and I'll go over that trace of how some kind of works. I mean, yes, there is this ticket here that says TensorFlow doesn't use numerically stable summation methods, but I still wanted to see in the code where that summation was going on, and, and did it have the two properties I was expecting. One is that it's not Kahan summation or pairwise summation, uh, so it's not numerically stable. And the other is that the vectorization would end up with some type of improved accuracy because it would almost kind of be like pairwise summation down to a certain level of division. So we're at the TensorFlow for Scala code. As I understand it, TensorFlow is a uh, abstract machine that does operations on tensors. When you're building a TensorFlow program, pretty much just evaluating these instructions in a abstract machine. And this abstract machine has a bunch of different backends. What I would be looking for is, is first what operation in the abstract machine is being used. And fortunately for some, there's literally an operation just called sum. Uh, and then how is that operation implemented? And here we can see in TensorFlow the declaration of that operation in the TensorFlow abstract abstract machine. And then you see uh, the operation is named sum, it has this input, uh, these other attributes, and that matches up with what Scala is building here. So okay, we're we'll trace it so far. So now we we have it up to the point where it's constructing this abstract sum operation, then there is the point where it needs to evaluate that. And as I understand it, TensorFlow will uh, compile the operations into, let's say, some composition of kernels for the target platform. I don't know uh, how fancy the compilers are. I don't know if it would do things like, um, you know, compile multiple operations into a single backend kernel. Don't really know. But uh, we can see for this case, we have our sum operation, and we can see a declared implementation of some operations that uses eigen. So let's go to Eigen. And uh, in particular, what is a reducer in Eigen? So here we're at the sum reducer for Eigen. And we see that a reducer is a structure with a few different methods. The one I'm particularly interested in is uh, sum up, which is kind of the singular instance of a uh, reducer's operation. And we see that here. I'm not entirely sure what these do uh, exactly, but they look like the type of stuff that you would have if you were 
planning to vectorize the summation or vectorize a reducer. Uh, be uh, stuff that I would expect to prepare a chunk to be reduced. When we get to sum up, we're actually talking about this specific scalar operation, just sum up. Uh, and we can see here that all this really does is add two operands. That's 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 it. Not too much there. Unless there's some magic in the reducer, I didn't see anything that is going to uh, improve the accuracy of this reducer. I did try to trace through some of the reduction stuff, and while it, it looked like it was setting up the different uh, warps or uh, uh, SIMD groups for uh, doing summations, or sorry, in this case, reductions uh, in parallel, I didn't see anything that would um, improve the accuracy. TensorFlow does not use a numerically stable summation, and it just happened to look like it because it, it kind of uh, broke it down and did a pairwise summation, but purely for uh, SIMD acceleration, not for accuracy. Well, that's unfortunate. I'm hoping that um, there's some movement on this ticket. It's kind of really sad that uh, either of these summations are not available in Tensor. Uh, I did notice from this article on pairwise summation that it states pairwise summation is the default summation algorithm in NumPy and the Julia technical computing language. Uh, so that's pretty, a pretty good argument for why TensorFlow should probably integrate this. And I suspect just given how it works, probably would work okay with vectorization, but really would need some deep dive into um, the Eigen reducers here. It looks like even somebody mentioned doing something along that lines uh, right here, where they built a custom sum reducer that did a Kahan summation in Eigen. Very interested to see further progress on this, but um, it's really kind of unfortunate. That previous video is pretty much all wrong, but uh, that's okay. So it goes. Uh, I would still recommend using TensorFlow for Scala. It's a really neat uh, library. Hope that was interesting and I'll uh, talk to you later.